Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this episode we'll be looking at Greeble and the Space Warp tool. So first what we want to do is just go to create and we'll use a line instead this time. If we use the line, we'll just create a random set of curves and we'll close the spline so it becomes a set box. And if we use the Quartify Mesh tool, You can see that now becomes a mesh and a solid plane. And if we add Greeble onto it, it creates these series of towers or skyscrapers. And it even has the widgets on top, which you can turn off and on or select the specific ones that you want. And you can change the minimum building height. So obviously the minimum height at the moment is one. We can change that to five. You can play around changing the max height depending on what you want, as well as the taper. Or at zero, it'll be very straight buildings or if we taper it in, 10 meters, they'll be on slightly of an angle. Now if we go and create a plane, and we'll just make it somewhat similar size to our greebled surface. We'll just change the width a little bit. We'll make it about 50. So it's not taking up the whole space, and we'll just change our length to a nice 85 meters. But this can be to whatever you need, depending on your geometry that you're creating. And now if we go to modify, we'll just quickly move this out of the way. If we go to modify and we use edit poly and we use the edge tools, which will select our edged lines of the faces and we use soft selection, we can click and pull up and we'll start to pull the edit, the poly around and creating these humps and surfaces and creating almost like a terrain like structure. And you can play around with the different settings, so the fall off, and that'll make and that could give you a bigger pull, or you might make a smaller one and click a point, and you can see that it changes. And because it's such a small area, it's only pulling a little bit that it becomes quite sharp. And if you're changing the pinch as well, you can see that now that that graph's changed. And as it's run a small surface, it may not notice as much, but we pull up again, it's creating that really sharp edge. So over a larger surface, it might give you a much sharper mountain, for example. Now, if we go to our forces tab and geometric slash deformable, you'll find the conform tool. It's just drawing a square and you want to pick an object, which will be our plane. And then from there, if we click our greebled surface and we use the space warp tool, which is on the top left, bind to space warp. And if you click, hold and drag to the conform box and release, that's now been warped to that. And if we move our, move our planar, you can see that and now it starts to cut at that greebled surface and is forming to what we based it on. And you can hide the plane and it still keeps this effect on. And you can see that it's now cutting away based on what that plane is formed as. So if it was shape, it would be a sharp cut and you can keep going and you can mess with this as however you like. If you're twisting it downwards, however you want to do it and whatever you need, it will do that and that greebled surface will conform and warp based on this plane surface and however you have it set up. And you can play with that however you like. We'll just keep it flat for now. Maybe we'll just rotate it a little bit. Now if we hide that again, you can see. So you can get a lot out of this tool in creating set surfaces or geometries or architectural designs. But if we just modify this again, and we can just pick a different modifier, maybe, What's something that might be a little bit different? We can, try the, we can try the noise tool, the noise modifier. What we can do if we just play around with these settings a little bit, we just change the X, Y, and Z values, and the animate noise, and the strength of it. And what this does as well, if we change the animate the noise, to 10 on the frequency and the click animate noise what we can do when we press play you can see that it now starts to simulate these different phases of the noise and obviously you can go into much further detail with this but just as an example as well you can start to animate this and could be essential for a design that you're creating or to generate different ideas and outcomes very quickly using this tool and so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful